This is an interview with Lisa Knowles uh, about her performance in Fresh Femme. Okay, Lisa, the first question I have is, what was your biggest challenge in the rehearsal process and how did you overcome it? Um, the biggest challenge for me, there were so many. Um, it, was, it was definitely understanding the concept behind the performance. It took me a while to actually understand what we had to do. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess I overcome it through just to keep rehearsing, researching, because the team, the group were fantastic in helping me understand we all supported each other. Yeah. And I was, I kept looking for a meaning in everything that we did, like every single thing. I was, why are we doing this? Why? And obviously... It's hard to let go of some yeah, of those old traits, yeah, when we haven't experienced it. In all my it. university life, all two and a half years of it, I've never done something that I had to explain, so doing something that didn't require an explanation was quite hard, just, just to break the habit, but got there in the end. Oh, good. Um, what, would you like to elaborate a bit more about who your character is and how your character was actually developed? My character? Well, one of the main things I can tell you about her is she likes it in the cowgirl position. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this, it was just, we were just playing around with the ideas of um, sexuality, feminism, and all this sort of thing. And in one of the uh, just like little workshop rehearsals that we did, um, it just came about that we just downloaded this um, instructions for seduction. And from this then, I started playing with my hair, with my um, wrist tied and, and putting lipstick on. And, and then we just decided it was very sexy and... So then sex came into it and we um, started playing around with different positions. So my character, is, she doesn't actually speak. The only time I speak as an actress is from a personal account. When I talk about an ex-boyfriend, then mm -hmm. it is my own issue. It's me talking, not my character. And I think the fact that my character just used gestures and expression, it, it's, it's really significant to the piece because, mm -hmm. you know, it, feminism... There's so many, so many different aspects to it, but um, when I think of a certain a specific issue that comes to my mind is when women weren't allowed speech, you know, mm -hmm. they were seen and not heard. Yeah. So my part of the, um, my character was that element, I guess. That's really good. That leads me on to my third question. How did you explore the physicality of your character? Mainly through just you know, just applying a simple bit of lipstick to my lip with my hands bound. And then I discovered to feel quite sexy as a character and started doing these movements with my eyes and mm. trying to engage with the audience and flirt while other actions were going on. So it was a case of just keep rehearsing and rehearsing. And every time we rehearse, something new came to my character. Mm -hmm. So I think it doesn't matter if we did this for a month or six months, it, it, it would just keep getting bigger it's and bigger. It just naturally bigger. keeps and rolling yeah, forward and progressing on, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Um, what do you think your biggest achievement has been throughout the whole process or through anything that you've had to deal with during the module? Um, from a, a very personal account, um, mm -hmm. getting on stage and saying I like it in cowgirl position and then... Followed devising, by that really slow movement. Yeah, devising a, a specific, like choreographing a mm -hmm. movement um, and getting down into that position, you know, with everything just hanging everywhere in courses. Yeah. It, it, that was definitely a big achievement for me as an, act, like, as an actress because I've never done anything like that. I've always said, and I remember the very first rehearsal in, well, when we were sat having a meeting, I said, I'm not doing it. I'm not yeah, dancing. Yeah, I remember that. And to actually do it, it was, it was really good. And I think I've overcome a, quite a few confidence issues. But also, just at the beginning of the module, I had no idea what Wes was talking about at all. He was mm -hmm. going on about <laughs> content and performance and, and all this and all these different isms. And I was like, whoa! <laughs> but I, I, I do feel like I've got an understanding now. That's really good. Um, how do you feel that the uh, audience responded? Was it as you expected? Um, well, yes, definitely better than I expected on the performance because through rehearsals, especially the bin scene, my particular 
speech about my ex-boyfriend, it mm -hmm. didn't really get as many laughs as the others with the, you know, mine was a paper cup, this is my ex-boyfriend, half full, you know, mm -hmm. mine's always half full, it's always half empty and all this. And um, on the performance, I don't know what happened,